Good evening, this is Johnny. Today is a Friday here in West Michigan. It is August the 10th. It is 8.32 at night. And uh, as I've been mentioning in my videos that I, well Carol and I, my wife and I went to a AAUW used book sale in South Haven. It's part of one of the events and their every year they have a blueberry festival there in South Haven and one of the events is the AAUW used book sale. And it starts, well, if you pay $15 you can get in at 8 o'clock but if you wait till 9 then it's open to the public and I was like fourth in line this morning. Carol waited in the car until the doors opened. So I thought I would show the used books that uh, we got this morning. Like I said, I got in there at nine o'clock. I went to the biography and I was there was not much biography, which I mean, there was biography, but nothing that really struck me. The only biography I bought was Genius, A Life and Science of Richard Freeman by James Gellick. The, now, I'm not really into... Now, I do collect uh, books on Albert Einstein, but I'm not really in collecting that many biographies on modern scientist but the reason why I bought this is because I collect the books of James Gallick. I just got his book Chaos, his book on time travel and uh, so I got this biography. So I, I hear somebody mowing a lawn it kind of startled me. I, I wasn't expecting somebody to mow a lawn. And uh, I, what else? I, any biographies here? Uh, I don't think so. What I, I saw a lot of was history. And the first, well, Second World War, politics, there was a lot of that stuff. But I'm not really into the Second World War, uh, except Nazi Germany, uh, FDR, Roosevelt things like that. But anyway, I'll show the books. First of all, in my diary today, I ended on page 643. Tomorrow is August the 11th, 2018. My birthday is on August the 14th. I will be 66 years old. I'm an old fart. <laughs> I'm an old guy. Uh, so anyway, I'll just go through the books because I can just ramble all day. First, uh, I've been I've started collecting the novels of Tom Robbins, and I found another one, Skinny Legs and All. And I like James Thurber, uh, part of the New Yorker. This is the Thurber Carnival, uh, written and illustrated by James Thurber. Uh, I saw a lot of James Thurber books, but I just bought, I just got one. I try to get a, a smattering of everything. I just don't want to get one kind of book. I found another uh, Michael Pollan book, Second Nature, A Gardener's Education. I start collecting him, uh, and this is another one in the, of his books. And uh, I like reading about gardens and, and nature, so I got this. Then I found a Chuck Pol Polmick, Pol Pollock, Polnick, Chuck, you know, the Fight Club writer. This is Survivor by him. So I got that one. I collect him. I never read him, but I, if I see one, I, I just grab it. Uh, here's you know here's one of the, uh, the uh, it's one of the Second World War where politics were history books. I looked there were tons of them, but I just took one because like I said I want a smattering of everything. Fateful choices, decisions that changed the world, 1940 to 1941 by Ian Kershaw. 
Then I found an art book, uh, uh, Galga, was it Gulga? <laughs> uh, I can't pronounce his name. Galia, Golia. He was a Spanish painter. Uh, he's one of my favorite painters, and so I grabbed, you know, there, there was not that many art books that really grabbed me. I like Impressionistic, but I like his paintings. I don't know, I just like him. Then I found uh, in one volume Don Powell's novels, The Angels of Toast, The Wicked Pavilion, and The Golden Spur, introduction by Gore Vidal. I, I have her complete novels in the Library of America series, but I just I like the cover and I like good paperback. I also found this. I have the journals of John Cheever in hardback, but I like this paperback edition. I like the cover, the journals of John Cheever, introduction by uh, Jeff Dyer. It's just a it's nice little. Um, this is the vintage UK edition. I mean, that's why I like it. I just like it. And I found a commentary on the Gospel of Mark in the religion section, which I don't usually find anything, but I don't have, uh, I didn't have this one. Uh, when it comes to the Gospels, I have a lot of Gospel, I have a lot of commentaries in the Gospel of Matthew, Gospel of Luke and John, but I don't have that many on Mark, so I found this one. I have William L. Lane's commentary on Hebrews and the Word commentary series, but this is the Gospel of Mark in the National Commentary New Testament series. So I got that. And then I found a novel by Timothy Feely, Feely, The Wars. I have three other novels by him. He's a Canadian writer. This is The Wars. Then I found Enthusiasms of Robert Davies. These are like short little non-fiction kind of writings. I found out I had this already in our library. Then I found the second volume of Osbert Sitwell's memoirs, The Scarlet Tree. And then I found uh, Rodney Stark, who's a, he's like a Christian intellectual. Uh, he writes very interesting books. This is his Triumph of Christianity, how the Jesus movement became the largest, the world's largest religion. And then I found also in the religious section, Sun Dancing, Life in Medieval Irish Monastery and How Celtic Spirituality Influenced the World. I'm kind of a little bit interested in Celtic spirituality. This is by Jeffrey Morehouse. This is Pillow Book by, this was, I can't pronounce her name, she was, of the, a court lady in the 10th century Japan at the height of the Heian culture. In her pillow book, she notes down all things that attract, displease, or interest her in daily life. She was an enthusiast for good manners and good taste, whether it's applied to dress, servants, or the correct behavior of lovers. Well, I, I like this, the Penguin Classic. I don't have this one, and I don't know. It looked interesting, so I got it. This is another Penguin classic by Maria Edgeworth. This is her novel, Castle Recrent in, in Inu. Then I found a book of poetry by Charles Bronsky, Love is a Dog from Hell. These are his poems from 1974 to 1977. Found a little novel by the uh, English writer, Henry Filling, Filling, Phil, Fielding, Jonathan Wilde. Another novel, Every Man Dies Alone by Hans Furhade. This was translated uh, by Michael Hoffman. Uh, I think this was first written in German. 
I'm not sure. This is a book called Sword, The History of Gladi Gladi Gladiators, Musketeers, Samurai, Swashbuckers, and Olympic Champions. This is on fencing or sword fighting. Uh, it looked it look kind of interesting. Uh, I like the illustrations in it. Uh, so I got that on so the By the Sword, A History of Gladiators, Musketeers, Samurai, Swashbuckers, and Olympic Champions. This is a novel by Mordecai Richler. Solomon Gushki was here. This is the Raymond Chandler Anibus. He was uh, he wrote crime uh, crime fiction. Uh, this is one of his, his I suppose, his famous uh, crime novels: The Big Sleep, Farewell, My Lovely, The High Window, Lady in the Lake. And my wife found this in the children's section. Uh, this is an edition of On the Road by Jack Kerouac. I have many editions of On the Road, but this is one that it has deckled edges. It's a penguin essential edition. Uh, I don't know. It's a nice little addition to my On the Road collection. So those are the used books I found at the AA. UW used book sale in South Haven this morning. Nice little haul. My wife got some books. All these books came to $31. Now that's how much you would pay if you went into a retail bookstore and bought one book. I uh, I bought a book the other that book on seeing God I've been showing you cost me $42. $42. For one book. So I got all these, these little literary riches for $31. And uh, so, yeah, that's what I got. Uh, I did, uh, like I said, I, I had to volunteer at the book nook today from 1 till 5. And when I was there, I. Uh, I read Dissident Gardens by uh, Jonathan Latham, and I brought some books home, which I'll show. I will show you guys in future videos. Tonight, my wife is back to work for three nights. This is Friday night, so tomorrow night is a Saturday. She won't be home, and she won't be home Sunday. So I get three nights that I can make videos. Now, some of you have noticed that I have not been listing below my videos the books that are mentioned in my videos. The reason why I'm not doing is that because I think that's against the community guidelines. When I read the community guidelines when I was on suspension, you're not supposed to put like anything below your videos that would distract people or would... Uh, well, I'm just not. Sh I just don't want to do it because I'm afraid that if I do do it, that I will get in trouble with YouTube. So, but if you want to see the list of the books that are mentioned in my videos, you can always go to my online diary, Crooked Fingers. If you're really curious, now I'm not just here pushing my online diary. Uh, I'm not here to push my diary, but. If you really are curious and you want to see the list of the books that are mentioned in my videos, they're always mentioned in my diary. Not only my paper diary, but my online diary. Uh, I used to post my videos in my online diary, but I think that's also a violation of community rules. So I haven't been posting my, uh, my book videos in my online diary. Crooked fingers. I'm just really scared that I'm going to do something in violation of the community rules. And I'm just walking on, on ice. So I'm kind of freaked. So that's why I've not been posting below the videos the list of the books uh, and other, other information. Uh, I'm just kind of not sure. 
about the community rules. But like I said, if you want to know a list of the books, you can also look at my library thing. I, I catalog all my books and library thing. My username is Book Mountain, and I catalog all my books. I think I've cataloged 10,042 books in library thing right now. So you can always go to library thing, Book Mountain, if you want to see my books, different categories, fiction, American history, biography, letters, memoirs, etc., etc., etc. So this is Friday. Uh, I hope you're have, you'll have a good weekend. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for subscribing. And until next time, bye.